Before clicking off, please just give me a few minutes of your time. In this life, I have gotten to do nearly everything that I've wanted to do. I have never been one who was scared or intimidated to try something new. Both of my parents were supportive. They told me to dream big and go for it. So I became addicted to the rush of adrenaline and being the center of attention. I rode bulls for several years. I rode dirt bikes. I broke into wrestling. I even gotten into music. Every one of those things that I had just listed that I have done have two things in common. Number one, they all have that rush of adrenaline. And number two, they're all sources of entertainment. I discovered YouTube many years ago. YouTube is where anyone, man, woman, or child, could go and be in front of a camera and entertain. Of course, Father Time caught up to me. I wasn't done entertaining yet. But I got too old to ride bulls, I got too old to wrestle, and dirt bikes just aren't my thing anymore. As far as singing goes, well, I had no business being in front of a microphone strapped to a guitar. My fascination for hunting and fishing started at a very early age. Hunting and fishing has their own ways of adrenaline. When you hear that walking through the leaves while sitting in a deer stand. When you hear that gobble from a turkey that's still on the roost. When your fishing line takes a hit from a fish. All of that gives me that rush of adrenaline. I have always wanted my own hunt and fishing show. I'm not a professional hunter. I'm not a professional fisherman. But I have hunted and fished for three decades. I will never give advice on my channel. Because what works for me may not work for the guy that's right down the road. I'm not a pro staffer. I'm a YouTuber that has my own experiences and my own stories. No two hunting trips, no two fishing trips are the same. And I add in my own way of entertainment. I add in product reviews for the guy that's on a budget like me. I have a large family so I can't just go out and buy top of the line equipment. So I buy stuff that I can afford and review it. And if the guy that's on a budget is curious about the performance of the equipment, well, here's my opinion on it. When I tell my stories, I'm telling you the stories as if you were a friend of mine sitting in the truck with me swapping deer stories. I love reminiscing on those songs. I sometimes feel like I have two jobs. One pays, the other I invest. Here lately I have questioned myself about being a YouTuber. Being the last three to four videos I've put out only got 10 views or less. I love doing this stuff. I love putting my ideas to film, editing for production, and then putting my finished product out for others' entertainment. I learned a lot in the past 14 months, and it feels like the more I learn, the worse my videos do. I won't sell my soul to the devil to get more subscribers or views. The person you see every Tuesday and Thursday is me, the real me. I won't ever change. I won't ever quit doing this because I love this. I love telling my story. I'm just thankful to have a wife that supports my dreams and pushes me. I'm thankful to have kids and friends that support my dreams. Every day, I'll continue to learn. I'll continue to research to better my videos for your entertainment. Everything that starts, starts at the bottom. It's just up to you, or me in this case, to grow it. Every bull rider goes through a dry spill where they buck off everything. Every singer has that one song that you're not a fan of. Every actor or actress has that movie that's a box office flop. This is my story. This is my life. These are my rules.